Howdy y'all, Price here, and I am once again joined by Emma, and we are playing some Played Up. How's it going, Emma? Hey, I'm good. I'm a little, little bit dizzy, but yeah, I'm good. Yeah, we're going, we're going in circles here. Y'all, last time we played, we were incredible. We were so good. We had no struggles whatsoever, no panicking, <laughs> no issues. <laughs> and y'all were not you're frustrated a, with us in the comments. Of a different game? Or yeah. A... No, no, come on. Come on. <laughs> Be confident here. <laughs> um, so this time, we're going to try out breakfast, the toast. We unlocked it last time right at the end. And Emma, I'll show you. Here's, here's how it works, because we kind of did it and then didn't. You take the dough, mm -hmm. you, you take it into the sink, you put it in the oven, and you gotta wait. You gotta wait, because what this is gonna do is it's gonna make a whole loaf of bread first, and then oh. we make that into toast, which I guess makes sense. There we go. So you got a loaf of bread, then you cut off a piece of it, and you put that in the oven. Oh. And toast goes real fast. So that's, that's okay. how we're doing. Okay, let's get one more. I'm just gonna give them to the cats. All right, here we go. Nice. Do, do, do. Hello, cat. Oh, I forgot There's all the one. buttons immediately. <laughs> I forgot you, all the buttons. Do you want to quickly try it out just to make sure? <laughs> Let me just try and pick something up to see yeah. if I can do it. So it's whatever is your A button, which I think is probably your B button. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Right. And then the other button you want to do is like whatever your X button is for you. So maybe pick up that dough and bring it over to the sink. Oops. Oh, God. Yeah. Bring it over to the sink. Oh, nope. Put it back. You can put it back up here. You can put it back up here. All right, and then hit whatever your X button would be. Yeah, there you go. Whatever that button yeah, was. Yeah, that one. Okay, okay got it. cool. Yeah. Those are the two I buttons that matter. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, I'm bringing this plate with us I for some it. reason. Um, okay. I think we're good. I don't think there's anything out here that we would really want to bring. So, oh, oh, we got to pick a floor plan. We gotta, what am I doing? Oh here? yeah. All right, so which I'm gonna need you to pick this up because I got a thing in my hand. Uh, which sure. one of these would you like to do? Go ahead and look through those. Um, yeah, Alpine's go. got that little room. Actually, yeah, they've all got that. Oh no, they don't all have that. They don't room. all have like it, or it's in different room. places. Yeah, so there's. This one has. I'm it's pretty big. Alpine or country? Okay. Um, country has such a small uh, restaurant that area small? that I think let's let's do the the Alpine. We got tons of space cool. in that one. We can make it work. Okay. So we got toast. Right. Uh, by the way, for people watching, this is the update. This is 0 0.15 update. I've not played it at all. It is allegedly supposed to be easier. It is supposed to fix some of the glitches from the previous one. So uh, we're going to hope that's the case. Um, last time, people also got mad at me, rightly so, for not moving the uh, stuff closer together. Because, like, straight up, you can just, like, oh. put these, like, right next to each other. And uh, oh, it goes a lot quicker. Yeah. Um, it's okay. We make mistakes sometimes. Um, so we've got serving. Yeah. Serving oh. Sort of hatch over here. What is this thing? A cooking desk. Interact That's to a cooking desk. accelerate time to the next customer. Oh, booking desk. <laughs> Sorry, not cooking desk. <laughs> uh, let's see. You know what? We'll get it. So I think what it means is we can go over to it and like answer the phones to get the next group in. Which sounds interesting. Ooh. So maybe we'll put that Fancy. like we'll put it in here for now. Um, let's put some tables. Do we tables. want to stick another table by this window? Yeah, I think maybe like yeah. right there, and then we could put the next table like right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let's do A it. Creepily intimate restaurant. Exactly. Situation. Exactly. Everybody. It's one of those ones where yeah, everybody's just sitting right next to each other. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do that and that and that. All right. Cool. So then what I like to do is we put the sink. Come on, there we go. And the plates, like this, because you can still reach them mm -hmm. at diagonals. Uh, so let's just quickly grab those. And then let's just get this stuff in a nice place where we think it's it's doable. Oh, nope, not those. Okay. Ah! I swear, ah! My, I swear my controller works, I promise. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a new one, uh, but it doesn't come here until like end of the week. So I'm just, oh. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Uh, I'm right definitely going to trim this up to a new controller at some point so I can actually see what buttons I'm meant to be pressing. Yeah, you got to get one of them there Xbox controllers, I'm telling you. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get right. a nice one. All right. I think for now, this works. Oh, you know what? We can pull one of these over here. Oh, but then we'll block ourselves in. Nope, this will be fine. Um, okay. So, okay. dough to sink to oven, and then we're just filling this up with toast, and we'll be fine okay. for the next couple of days. All right, 
Let's do it. We are a single toast restaurant right now. Huh. Oh, oops. There we go. Okay, okay. so just gonna do Everyone's that real fine. quick. Boom. And then we wait. And we wait. Hello, come on in, you know? I'm not trying to intimidate you or anything, but get get the heck in here. And we got Emma over here, the, the dancing chef. Come sit uh, down. <laughs> Alright, we we'll go ahead and grab that. Oh, nope. Oh, other, other button. Oh, no. Alright. Other button. Throw that over there. Alright. And then. Other button. Chop it. Nope. Slice. Alright, take that on over to the, uh, the oven. Pop it in. Close it up. Pop it in. And then get ready to. Oh. No, oh, flip it There out. you go. And get ready oh, to open it. Okay. Ready, open it. Open it. Same button. Same button. Oh, it's too yeah. late. It's too late. It's burned. Oh, no. All I'm right. sorry. Oh. Try, try it again. Try it again. It's the first oh, day, God. so this is when we should have you figure this stuff out. Okay, okay. Open it, open it! There you go. Yeah, it's just so fast. Open. It's so fast. Okay. All right, put it oh, on a plate. Oh, gosh, the stress. Put it okay. on a plate over here, or I can, I can do it. There we go. Oh, that's uh, Oh, just probably take your order. Um, okay. Let's make another one real fast. Maybe... Um... All right, and let's bring it over to these guys. Oh, grab that one, and that one. Okay, I can grab that dish. Start washing it. Oh, they're making a mess. How are they making that kind of... Oh! Kind of a mess with. Ah, uh, I got oh, it. I got never it. Never leave the toast. Okay, never leave the toast. <laughs> yeah, you, you really, you really can't. You really can't leave it alone at all. No, I'm all right. gonna get it. Grab it. Double button. All right. Down. Cool. See, you're a toast expert now. Ooh. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm an expert. The stress. You're a pro. You're an expert. You're the toast master. They call me the toast of London. Ah, there you go. Uh, they don't. That's that's a Matt Berry show. Here. Oh, well, I, I think I knew that. Oh, I love Matt Berry. <laughs> this uh, is a great show. <laughs> oh man, I was uh, a big time. Mighty Boosh fan back in the day, which I think he popped up on every oh, now and then. Too. But then, um, oh yeah, uh, IT crowd when he's oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Renum and he's like Father. I love it. Father. He's so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a hero. What a hero. And then uh, what we do in the shadows. I've only watched a little bit of it, but he's fantastic. Oh, you must watch all of it. It's yeah. so wonderful. I got through Rat, se I, season I one. I say that quite a lot, and it's never, it never makes sense. Say what? it's always fun. That it's always fun? Okay. Bat! Okay. Oh, bat! <laughs> and yeah. Then, yeah, and then he flies away. Yeah, uh, but I can't turn into a bat, so it doesn't so yeah, usually it hold So yeah, doesn't up. fit, it doesn't fit. Um, let's see, dining table. We can afford another table. Another hob. Oh, that's a hob. Yeah, we can't. Um, that's not going to be helpful. Can't really do much with it at the moment. Yeah, we don't need it. We don't need it. Uh, okay, I just got us another table. Now we should be fine with cool. people coming through. Uh, okay, let's do it. Okay, All right. I'm ready. I you, got it this time. To you. I'm, I'm to focused. there. All right, Toastmaster, you got it. Toast, Toastmaster. <laughs> just, just bonkers for toast over here. Just spinning for toast. <laughs> Crazy for toast. <laughs> All right. Do, do, do. Gonna wait to take your order until the toast is ready to go, because then it's gonna be like you're like, oh, here's Oops. what I want, and then it's done. It's there. All right. Toast. Toast. Cool. There you go. Oh man. It's not got quite the satisfaction of meat, but it's uh, <laughs> still good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this less likely for this to be, you know, cannibalistic. Um, yeah, it's a, a safer option, toast. <laughs> Oh, man. So, for the longest time, Emma, I've been wanting to talk to you about Marvel stuff. My goodness. Yes. Both both Turbo Nerd Marvel fans. Also, I know you're a Mass Effect fan, which, big fan from back in the day as well. Oh, my God, I love Mass Effect. Um, That's my life. So, as far as Marvel stuff goes, what's what's your fave? What's your what's your top jam? Oh. Of, like, the movies, the comics, whichever. What did I just do? Oh. Oh, you burned it. It's all right. It's all right. Um, Don't cry over burnt toast. Fave? Top fave? Uh -huh. um, I don't know. I was really into uh, Spider-Gwen for a while. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Comics. Um, but I don't have the stamina for comics because yeah. you have like 10,000 issues every oh, time yeah. in a Marvel series. No, for sure. Um, I don't have... I don't read as many comics as I used to. I'm more catch up on the synopses, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, gosh, I don't know. I think they've done some really, really good TV shows recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which which ones uh, which ones you dig? I, I definitely have watched all of them, and I have enjoyed the heck out um, of them. I thought, um, uh, what's her face? Scarlet WandaVision? Witch. What was it? WandaVision. WandaVision, WandaVision yeah. was really, because as much as I love Marvel, a lot of their stuff is very, what's that? Is that another one? Uh, it's the gas limiter, so you could gas use that limiter. to like slow down a uh, oven so it doesn't oh, so it doesn't I burn. See. 
Um, okay. We could get another sink. I think what might be nice is, oh, come on, there you go. If we get this cabinet, we can mm -hmm. um, hold on to it for the research like we did last time and then hopefully get an upgraded sink so we can do dishes faster. Um, cool. Oh, and you know what, we should try and, oh, wait. We should try and use this uh, this thing today. Get the get the people coming through earlier. Oh yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. So yeah, I uh, I love the um, the Marvel shows. I think of the most recent. I mean, Hawkeye was actually more enjoyable than I was expecting. To be honest, I uh, yeah yeah Hawkeye was. It was good. Yeah. It wasn't my favorite thing in the world. Yeah. I just thought um, what I was gonna say was as much as I love Marvel, mm -hmm. it can be a little bit. Uh, formulaic oh very much so <laughs> it's a, it's a big old studio and yeah. you know they know what sells um but one division i felt was like really unique and different yeah and really very cool kind of experience. experimental yeah yeah exactly so yeah, that I, really worked and the, they're kind of like shifting say. between genres and like yeah everything. that was super fun you're like oh i've seen all of the like terrible sitcoms that they're referencing I exactly these. yeah <laughs> Um, I did actually watch, not to be too much of a traitor, I actually watched Peacemaker. Oh, that was that's hilarious. Yeah. Peacemaker's DVD great. DC series. It's brilliant. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. John Cena is a far better and more entertaining actor than I think people give him credit for because he's a he's, big wrestler. He just also seems like a really nice person. Oh, when yeah. When I were talking about this, it seems like the... Um, the wrestler to mm -hmm. like film star pipeline seems to produce really nice people. Yeah, yeah. Between The Rock and John Cena, it seems like uh, the two of them yeah. are, they're very outgoing and kind and they do a lot of charity and they support a lot yeah. of great, you know, causes. For sure. I think, especially after Peacemaker, I was like, John Cena does not deserve the, uh, the kind of ridicule that he gets. He's fantastic. Yeah. No, he seems, uh, he seems pretty nice. But yeah, I watched, I think, the first two episodes of Peacemaker, and then obviously I watched The Suicide Squad, and mm -hmm. I enjoyed the heck out of those. Um, yeah, of yeah, the Of the Mar Marvel series, the modern ones, I think, um, like the most recent ones, I think I probably liked Falcon and Winter Soldier the most, but I'm also a, uh, I'm a big Captain America guy. Uh, mm -hmm. Not for nationalist reasons, <laughs> just because <laughs> he seems like a good dude. Um, or but have you read any Captain Britain? I have. I do like Captain Britain, actually. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, I think Captain and Britain is actually... coming. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, good luck on that one. <laughs> yeah. um, let's, uh, I think maybe have the customers just order right away. Okay, cool. Um, when you have toast, it's just like, keep it just toast. Toast is simple. Just uh, keep, keep coming. Okay. Oh, my God. Copying so desk. Oh, man, there's new stuff. Copying Interact to copy a blueprint. Copy a blueprint. So I guess if you wanted multiples of the same thing, you could have that sitting in there and just keep getting more and more. That's interesting. Um, can't get the research desk yet, so I guess we're just gonna have to wait. Just gonna have to wait. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and go, I guess. Don't need to do any changes, I don't think. Okay. Uh, that was me being completely aware it was me you were waiting for. <laughs> totally, 100%. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, do you know what I've always absolutely loved, Marvel-wise? Hmm. Uh, Freaking Ultimate Alliance. I don't oh, know why. gosh, those Just games like, are so good. They're so good and so addictive, like unlocking the characters and oh, the absolutely. PS2 one I just played to death. Oh, yeah. The... Making all the little comic books and reading them. That's the only reason I know anything, any like Marvel lore, is mm. because of that, <laughs> that game. That's, you know what? Like, so much of my experience with Marvel came from like the cartoons in the 90s like that was how I experienced it so Spider-Man the X-Men all that stuff uh, so 90% of my Marvel knowledge just comes straight out of that <laughs> uh huh um, yeah of the most of the movies I think uh I, I, I think Ant-Man is honestly my favorite. I just love Paul Ant -Man Rudd. Ant-Man great. I think yeah, that, he's uh, kind of fantastic. Yeah, just like, big fan, big fan. I'm just, I'm waiting for a good Fantastic Four movie. I've the, been waiting, I feel like my whole life, for a good Fantastic Four movie. Yep, yep. And it's not happened yet, <laughs> but I pray that it will. There is one it's on the horizon. Eventually. There is one well, on the horizon. Well, they've got to keep making them, because otherwise... <laughs> Otherwise, like, you know... They'll lose the uh, rights, yeah, yeah or whatever. <laughs> comic book issues with the rights, yeah, so... Yeah. 
No, it's one funny. day we'll nail it and it'll be great. Exactly. Let's hope that the next one, because otherwise it's going to be a bit. There's, uh, from what I've heard down the grapevine, minor potential spoilers, but who knows, um, mm. is that they might be in the uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. They might be introduced in that one. Ooh. So that's the next one that comes out. Um, that's exciting. So that would be rad. Because that one's going to be bouncing all over the place. Oh, that's right. They order right away. I keep, I'm sitting here like, let me take your order. He's like, I already yelled it at you. I, give me the I can't even pick up a plate. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's how it goes. All right, all right. Bread. Oh, we're good. Oh, yeah. Bread. Yeah, that does happen sometimes. Oops. Bring it to the sink. Yep, there you go. Cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Well, so I guess, you know, by that same token, uh, <laughs> Mass Effect. Tell me about your yeah. experiences with Mass Effect. What's your love of Mass Effect? Um, I, I usually... Um, when I get asked my favorite game, Mass Effect 2 is usually my top. It's so good. It's game. it's definitely just... it's definitely in one of in my tops. Hundred percent. Yeah, I agree with you on that. The uh, just the way that like the the path to the mission works and how like building up your relationships with all of the characters and how that actually matters in the end. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, yeah, love yeah. it. Love it. It's just, right. oh, it's a good time. It's one of those ones where, actually the first Mass Effect did this as well, but I like, I cried at the end credits. Oh just yeah? Just cause like, all of the emotion of the whole game just hits you right at the end. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh my God. That For was sure. experience. Uh, I let's love see. It. Let's get another hob. Um, yeah, absolutely. No, I, I loved all three of those games. I was like, the day Mass Effect 2 came out, I, you know, in mm -hmm. the, in the mid, like, at midnight, middle of the night, <laughs> I, I yeah. downloaded it and played for hours. Um, ready on up. Oh, sorry. No worries. It's uh, distracting me with all this, this nerd Marvel talk. and this Mass Effect talk. Nerd talk. It's how, it's how it goes. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I absolutely love the Mass Effect series. Um, I think that, uh, I guess you're a Star Trek fan, so I guess as a Star Trek fan, is it true that it mm -hmm. is kind of very... Star Trekky in the way that it kind of yeah it's like um, there's a another comic book series um, Valerian and Loreline yeah it's a French comic book series they made the film of it with um, Cara Delevingne yeah and, and, and Dane uh, DeHaan the other fellow who's yeah. Dane DeHaan yeah um, and that uh, I remember watching that movie and being like oh I'm nervous because uh, I really like the comics mm -hmm. and then I watched that movie and especially even just like the opening I was like this is like if they made a Mass Effect movie, and it made me so happy, just all the different <laughs> alien races like shaking mm -hmm. hands and things. Oh, yeah. Bugger, I thought I got that one. Oh, that's all good. It's fine. Nothing to see here. Nothing no, no see. it's fine. It's fine. No, uh, nothing happened. Yeah, um, for sure. I uh, I dug. I, I, you know, it's been a while since I've seen that one. To be honest, I only watched it the one time. Um, saw it the, in theaters. Um, the graphic novels are really, really fun. That's what I've heard. I've heard because uh, Luke Besson, who directed that one. I'm a big fan of, you know, like The Fifth Element, um, one of my mm -hmm. favorite movies of all time, I think. And um, I think that that's kind of what he was going for with uh, with Valerian as well, was kind of very Fifth Element-y mm -hmm. feel. And uh, yeah. I'll, I'll take that any day, forever. Oh, got to get some more. Give that back. Got to get some more bread going. There you go. Yeah, that's why we need to get uh, another hob if we can, so we can make two things of bread. Yeah, that would be ideal. Alright. Come on, bread. Put that in the oh, it feels so slow after the toast. I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, once once you're there, it's like, why do you take so long, bread? Why can't I bake you immediately? Uh, Stupid bread. Come on, bread! Um, but yeah, uh, love Star Trek. Big Star Trek fan. I am... Um, What's your... Uh, What's your faves, uh, fave series? Original series. I've always been an original series girl. Really? It's just, there's just something so... It's like that pure, you know, Roddenberry vision of mm -hmm. inclusivity and fun before he, like, sort of should have taken a back seat and started to ruin the later <laughs> series <laughs> with his meddling. It's just like that pure vision, and it's just so silly. And I just, I just love it. I don't know. It's just, uh, it's just good. All fun. right. I just like All right. the, the joy of being like, yeah. The, the, of course, everyone's equal in the future, and you know, we have these misses where we treat new races with 
respect and yeah it's just oh it's yeah it's that's a very cool. sweet it's a very sweet show it's it's interesting i don't hear a lot of people say that that's their fave to be honest it's always the new uh, the next generation um mm. i mean next generation is wonderful yeah but, um it's just original series have my heart fair enough fair enough um oh gosh i've never seen either of these focus on serving customers as quickly as possible focus on high standards and expect the same from your customers what does this mean what does this mean does this mean high don't make a mess or serve quickly hmm, hmm. Let's let's try yeah. affordable. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like the quick is kind of what we're going for. Yeah, what do we got here? Point. A hub? Did it not get upgraded? Why did these not get upgraded? Do we have to do it during the middle of the day? Do we have to like place these on here? No. Ceiling light. Huh. I'm not exactly sure what that does. Oh, so yeah, these now, all of the decorations work for the entire restaurant. Um, oh! Oh! I know what happened. Bin. All of these decorations benefit that thing that we just picked, the uh, affordable thing. So the, all of these go towards oh. that. Um, so I think we should actually not get any of those <laughs> because they're going to make them want to order faster, I believe. Maybe they'll make them eat faster, actually. Either way, Ooh. I don't think we can handle that. Um, doubles. Oh, doubles patience. Considering they come Ooh. in and immediately order, that might actually be very good. Let's do that. Because then it basically yes. makes up yeah. for the fact that we got, you know, cut their wait time in half. Um, yeah. Well, I'm hoping that these will upgrade today because otherwise it doesn't work the way I thought it did. And thus we're in trouble. Um, <laughs> but hey. Yes. Ready to go. It'll whatever. Be fine. Uh, okay. That's so me. off my the original Star Trek series, I didn't watch too much of it, but um, it was on, when I was in college, it was on um, like early, early in the morning. And so my roommates mm -hmm. and I would kind of watch a little bit of it before heading off to uh, to campus. Oh, oh, we're both doing it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh go, go for it. Go, uh, do it, do it, do it. Okay. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Too many cooks. Um... So yeah, I, I watched a little bit of it here and there, and I always felt like it's way more like charming. It's got this kind of, yeah. Uh, it's not always about like the action and the suspense and all this kind of stuff. It's more like, oh, here's mm -hmm. this silly thing that happens on this planet. Let's see what uh, Kirk and the gang do today. Like, yeah, I mean, like my, it's a, well, I guess your opinion is kind of biased in this way with huh. anything, but like. When I think of original series, I think of just like me and my mum cackling at the polystyrene rocks that everybody's throwing oh. <laughs> around, you know? Absolutely. Oh, I love that. Ran like, it's just such joy. Yeah, same same thing, but in a completely different movie. Um, uh, have you ever seen, have you seen Underworld? The um, Underworld. But Cape Beckinsale, um, Vampires versus Werewolves movie from like somewhere in the 2000s. Um, oh, that sounds familiar, actually. So anyway, uh, in that movie, like towards the end, there's this moment where some guy like busts through a wall and all this kind of stuff and all these, you know, rocks and everything are going everywhere. <laughs> and it's clearly made of like the polystyrene because um, yeah. <laughs> the rocks float in the water. And so it's like, it's so obvious when you see it. And so it's like this epic scene in slow motion, completely ruined by the fact that the rocks are floating. <laughs> yeah, oh, I love man. it. Yeah. Did you ever watch the, um, the Doom movie? Oh gosh! I mean, With yeah. I think I saw it in the in theaters, and um, oh boy. <laughs> oh man, what a movie! I love that so much. It's it's like so awful, mm -hmm. and then there's the last like two minutes of the movie. They do that kind of homage where um, it's in first person mode, yeah. And they go yeah, around yeah. and they pick up all the guns, and there's all the music, and yeah. it's like suddenly really fun. That was fun. The whole yeah. thing for me was worth it just for that <laughs> tiny bit. It was one of those moments like when that happened, you're like, oh wow, wow, they're just going for it. <laughs> they're fully just yeah. going. Yeah. Here's what a Doom movie should be. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, and that was that. Was that Carl Urban? Who was the guy in that? Yes, oh, okay. I, th I think it was. Gotcha. I think it was. 
All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see some more, if you want to see the end of this run, be sure to head on over to Emma's channel right now and go check that one out. There's going to be a link above, link down below. It'll be in the playlist. So be sure to check that one out. And uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, of course, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're not already, comment down below. All that stuff really helps me with the channel. But most importantly, y'all, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. My name is Ben Price, and I was joined by Emma on this episode. Go check out the other one. See you next time. Bye.